Hello, Star Wars Galaxy of Hero players. This is Andatek Shorto. Today, I'm going to be covering all the updates that have come from the May 23rd, 2018. And I first off want to say, I didn't cover this yesterday for the 22nd, but uh, the guild chat and everything has been updated. A friend of mine's direct chat. So yeah, you can chat, chat your friends and your and everyone that you want to chat and you have a better chat also i'm sure oops i didn't want to select that i wanted to select this if you notice something yes you do see the donate option hopefully they have a change in that where they shrink this little uh bar here add another tab for donations so you can go in select the donations it's easier to get to the donations but Anyway, so let's go ahead. I want to cover what's in my inbox. Start at the bottom. Here are Mr. Rewards of Quests. So there are quests that you get. And I'll show you more in a bit. So this is all the rewards I'm getting so far. I bet some people have gotten a little bit more. Some have gotten less. But look at all those character shards. There are tons of character shards. I'm going to claim them. Boom. It's dangerous to go alone. We also get some Omegas. Ship Omegas and Reinforcement Materials, plus 200,000 uh, currency. Sweet. Darth Sion, Viasis Mar, is now farmable in these locations. And starting this weekend, normal or hard, uh, you get the double. This has been covered. Well, this time around, I will say I'm not going to cover the forum post just to for time saving. But this uh, this weekend... May 25th, 26th, and 27th are all double drops. That's great. <sighs> so, that's something good to look forward to. So, get those Scion Shards as soon as you can. I'm going to be pushing for Scion Shards like crazy. Because I want five at least to get them to 5 stars so I can use them in my guild rewards. Uh, or my guild's uh, game modes. All right. Oh, yeah. I can upgrade now. Yeah. Oh, and they've actually a added ship. They've done some ship updates. The ghost, while Ghost is present, Phantom T gains critical hit immunity. Which can't be prevented or dispelled. Wow. Nice. So, I, I get to play around with that later. But, yeah, all the ships get... Ooh, I want to see what Fett's... Just damage. Plus target lock chance. So, 55. Mmm, nice. 70. Wow, nice. I'm liking. Oh, wait, wait. What was Fett's... Uh... Oh, right. I think the requirement's only gear 11, which is fine. I apologize if there's a crying child in the background. I'm recording this. I'm trying to record this live. Get everything through. All right, so that is some big news. Now, let's go look at the quests. Boom. So, yesterday you would have saw just this. Um, the ra guild stuff and the achievements. Now, let's go look. So, now there's some more stuff. Invest in powerful squad leaders to benefit. Then there's learn powerful... So, there's more rewards and stuff that you can do. So, and I can actually do this one. And that is all in the events. There's two events, so I do want to cover them. <sighs> Let's go ahead and start. Let's just see what happens. Old Ben. So, a good defense. So, you do this ability. Whoosh. Yeah, also, my guild is. My guild is actually. Uh, they usually have a requirement of 600 energy use, or use up 600 energy a day. Right now, we actually have. Dang, come on, guys. We're actually saving up our crystals for the double drops. It's what I would highly recommend right now. Double drops are coming. 
get your scion shards, get your trooper shards. But yeah, let's cover. I would like to just auto these, but you know, eh, it's not too bad. Alright. Would like to really target no protection it's just there to just i guess give some more tips and hints for the game i'm sure there's more events out that'll be like this so it's always cool support abilities uh, so am i going to throw stealth on kenobi or stealth smoke spring target him oh yeah that's what i meant to say not st stealth kenobi but it helps stealth Oh, I can't auto this. I have to manually do this. Man, I didn't realize that till just now. Oh, excuse me. Sorry about that cough. All right, let's keep going. I did not... Uh, I'm not using a mutable mic. I apologize for that. But boom, dead. But no, this is this is cool. And after this, I feel like I'm going to get rewards for it. Like, I don't get rewards in the challenges, but if you saw there, there's a rebel challenge. Oh, look at this. Guess what? I'm going to stealth and throw evasion on me. Oh, good. You targeted a... Oh, good. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's right. Oh. These are all event characters. Oh. No. Huh, there's the new from Vader. Kaboom, dead. This is kind of cool. I apologize, this will also be a longer video because I have a few events to cover. But, yeah, I did end up using some energy to get Darth Scion one shard. Out of eight battles, one shard. So saddening. Sweet. Quick draw. I don't want to stun that enemy. Oh, my goodness. I wanted to stun Darth Vader. I'm okay with taking you down. I'm okay with hitting you. <clears throat> Excuse me. My goodness. That was horrible. And you're zated. Ha ha. Let's get you. Yeah, you have to manually do this. It's kind of crazy. But it's cool that we get quests. So with the quests, I forgot to mention, I was focused on this. Um, ooh, Lando and Leia shards. Man, I'm going to get higher than what I was with character shard currency on the shard. Sweet. So I back out and that thing's... What? What? More basic training? Whoa, that's insane. But anyways, uh, with quests you get titles. You get titles for the game. Um, Fader. Why am I facing this? Actually, let's get rid of turn meter on power. Stun you. Let's AoE. There we well, not AoE, but you know what I mean. Let's grant. Let's burn everybody. Burn the Emperor. Burn him. Wow. 
Wow. Boom. No. Yes. Let's aw. See if I got stun you. Take Thrawn out. Man, this is a, the one thing I hate about this is it just you have to attack. You don't you don't get a chance to auto. How cool it'd be to auto. But I think they do this for early training. So you could get an idea of what to do. But I'm okay with getting all these extra shards. Because the majority of these characters I have are seven star. And if they're not, then let's see. Like out of this list. Okay, more of those. Just different rebels. Okay, so I can't do that anymore. All right. So, obviously, once you get this done, you just keep going through how to use rebels. Now, let's see what this one's about. Woo. Ah, this is going to teach you how to use the new mechanics for ships. That's exciting. So, you get rebels versus the trio. Okay. But I can't do it right now. So let's go ahead and call in an AoE. Whoa. I like the... Uh, and I'm sure there was a light rework to all the ships where they added uh, seven... Uh, their tier seven, tier eights. Boom. Just in case they call someone else in, I can target them with the AoE. And it happens to be Biggs. And I will do it. Oh, I like the sounds. Oh, I just love the sound of the ships. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, target lock. I like the, the, the trio of Geonosian ships are kind of cool. And I win. Done and done. It's just a simple get to know. Okay, there's three. Now, it makes me wonder if this will allow you to unlock the ship battles. So you could just infinitely battle it. So you can get a practice strategy of something new. Um, oh wait, what am I doing? Let's see. Ships. Uh, ship battles are probably going to be brought out tomorrow. But yeah, if you could tell, Fleet Arena, boom. So different. Which means I gotta play around, gotta work more on the ships. Which also, I think the challenges, I wanna look at the ship challenges really quick. Yep, adds the other rewards. Adds these rewards. What about the rewards? Oh, they'll probably be in the ship battles. The. The. This. Wherever you. Right now you can get them for. There's packs. Oh, you could get them in. Uh, Cantina battles? Just this one? Okay. Oh, that's just temporary. If you want to farm some, but I think that's a temporary location for now. I think that was what it said in the forum. So yeah, that is what is changed thus far. I'm really excited for the changes. We get new ship abilities, new ships, everything. Actually, since I have a, I want to cover a little bit of this. But that one gets plus 30. Um, this one does go up to 8. So it... It's nice that they have them. I'll probably do another video covering the ship updates, uh, updated abilities. But this one's also done it too. Extra turn meter. Eighty percent grant a hundred percent turn meter. Gain fifty percent health. That's really where the game changes. So you used to just go to 30, but now you get 20% more health. That's good. That's game-changing in a ship battle. All allies have 40% critical damage. Nice. Inflict speed down for two turns. Wow. 
man, the ships are going to turn out to be a whole nother story. I'm excited for that because ships kind of bored me a little bit because you only did one thing with them. And then they brought Territory War and Battled Out. You do a few more things, but now ships are going to become more amazing. Now we just need new ships for some characters here and there. And I'm sure they'll start to add ships here and there with each faction rework they decide to do in the future. Because we still need a ton of bounty hunter ships so that we can have like scoundrel ships. I just hope they bring in Hondo and Akka. Have him a fleet commander for scoundrels. A leadership for scoundrels. So scoundrels has a leadership. So you can use your bounty hunters, your scoundrels, and so on. So, yeah. And of course we're probably going to get a new Millennium Falcon within the next six weeks, give or take. But, another big exciting thing, I just love, I'm not working on Viasis Mar, but maybe I should move that. Where is my Mar? There she is. She's in Dark Side 7B. And of course, hard, it's good to get it. Get her now. Oh, I got a bunch of that, so. But yeah, I'm excited, I get that. Oh, and one last thing I want to show off, I like showing this off. Look at all that. Look at all that currency I'm getting. I'm glad I'm getting the currency. Because now it's going to make me farming. Oh, I've got to farm in here. Good thing I'm here. Good thing I'm here. Oh, and also, if some of you didn't notice, I'm at 11,000. If you watched my video previously, I probably uh, may have skimmed through this. But I was just barely at, like, close to 2,000. But since there was a ton of events or quests to unlock you eventually, you know, they did a lot of rewards where you got them instantly for, like, being way advanced in the game. So, I'm excited for this. I can farm currency or gear. It'll help speed my gear farming up. And I don't care for that one right now. Not my favorites. But, man, oh, man. It is awesome. Wait, no, I don't want that one. But I'll do this all later. Um, but last thing, I just wanted to skim through the quests. There's also this one here prestige quests just so you can get your titles um right now i have three active that is a jedi one you have to win 200 battles 200 battles with five jedi boom grow of the jedi order have five jedi at seven stars and then have cons jedi consular starfighter at seven stars actually working on that so once i get to those and then have win 200 battles with jedi uh, some of the, I've noticed these battle ones start off at zero. It's just the gear and the star rating of ships and stuff. Um, it's a whole another story. Like, here's Sith, but you have apprentices as uh, Saj Ventress. Okay. And then bounty hunters. It's more Boba Fett than anything. Just need to get him to gear 12. Uh, fulfill 500 uh, Boba Fett contracts. And these are the rewards, but you also get the titles. From the looks of it, so... But, that's the exciting news. Complete, replayable, basic training rebels. So I just need to do those other missions in the next few days, and then I'll be able to have this one. Get two of that. Don't need the experience of the 950 crystals. Or credits, so... And then this one, defeat 75 Jedi, and 120 clones, so I just have to do that through certain battles. But that is the update thus far. So this is May 23rd, 2018 update info. Uh, I just wanted to cover what's new. And I'll cover the rest tomorrow. I'm sure tomorrow they'll be adding some more stuff like the ship battles. I'll probably do a couple ship battles with you guys. And then after that, no more. Also, I forgot to mention. Boom. You also get your ship currency too. So you can actually see what your ship currency is. That was a big game changer. Now I can actually farm. Yeah, and I'm, I'm glad they're keeping this with credits and ship currency. So you can farm mods a lot easier. So again, thanks for watching. I really appreciate all those who have been watching the videos that I've been making. And stay tuned for more Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes updates for May, for the May end of May 2018.